and you're watching Warhammer Chat episode number 30. So to celebrate my 30th upload on this channel, um, I wanted to show you my Beastmen army in progress. So here's the uh, all the figures I've painted so far. You can see my horde of gores there, bolstered by a minotaur. Not sure whether you can actually use that in the game, but why not? There is my uh, gore standard bearer. I've used um, the emblem on his standard that the uh, Games Workshop have as well, and uh, it worked out pretty nicely, I thought. Did a little conversion with a kind of a spear on his left hand sticking out, which makes it quite awkward to rank up. Um, there you got the uh, command group. On the right there uh, is a Gore character. Um, so um, it could be the uh, Ungor uh, Half Horn, do they call it? Um, I don't know, just some kind, of, some kind of gore character, so that can be him on the right, and you've got your musician. Um, and here's some uh, <laughs> Ungor Raiders. Uh, awesome figures, if you don't mind me saying. I think these gore models, they're, they're, they're like basically the chaff of the uh, the Beastman army, are really awesome, um, really awesome models to paint, and you can do all sorts of conversions with them, maybe uh, jumping on tree branches or dangling. Um, there's my gore spearman <coughs> with spear and shield. Not that effective in the last game I played, that's for sure. And here's a little conversion I made. Uh, harpies. I used some Eldar Scourge wings. Got them on eBay. With a nice little base um, there. Stuck that on. And uh, there you go, there's a harpy. A lot of work for uh, a figure that <laughs> doesn't very, doesn't very may not last very long in the game. But, um, you know, I've got three more to paint, um, and then I've got a nice little unit there. Um, I mean, Jesus, compared to the uh, the Games Workshop harpies, I do think these are uh, a lot better. I got the idea of, I uh, saw something like this on one bit and, Once Bitten 360's army, and um, off a Beastmen um, forum called the Herdstone. Um, now, these my, my hounds, and uh, they're actually any fan of uh, Warhammer... Fantasy from the 80s will recognise these as Wood Elf Warhounds. Um, Wood Elves used to be able to have um, animal handlers in uh, one of the editions, probably third or fourth edition, and I've still got the figures. So instead of buying a pack of Chaos Hounds, I thought I would just uh, use these babies. Um, yeah, unit of five there. In the last game, they just got a shot first turn. <laughs> so that was kind of that. Just want to put a close up here of my gore. Command group. That's um, I've done that standard bearer, but standard by hand. Mm, let me know what you think. I was a uh, yeah, kind of like Mr. Tumnus the form, fawn in the middle, going crazy in a swirl of chaotic madness. That's the theme. Um, there's a, uh, a Bray Shaman. Um, really, really cool figure. That um, was one of the uh, the new Beastmen figures that Games Workshop put out last year. Um, yeah, really, really cool, like that one. And here is Malagor the Dark Omen, kind of better in real life than on this picture, you're going to have to take my word for that. Um, I believe he can fly, I'm going to have to read that, but if he can fly, I might well use that rule. Um, I stick those two in this score unit, and that's what I've done so far. I've painted 24 of them, and um, <coughs> I would rather eat my own head than have to paint another horde of these, especially the old gores. I mean, there's there's kind of two types going on, and the old ones and the old own gores, for that matter, are pretty uh, pretty shitty to paint. If you got it, if you want the honest truth, just from me. Um, whereas the new models are really really cool. But um, a long time spending um, painting rank and file figures, uh, and you know you need a break from this sort of stuff after a while. So. Um, yeah, I hope you like uh, my basing there, a, a scattering of pot pourri, um, give you a little bit of atmosphere there, and there's an overview of my gore unit. Really powerful in the game, so at some point I probably will paint another um, another horde of these if I keep my beastmen. But um, yeah, here's a converted orc chariot. Um, I got this cheap on eBay and, and basically just 
you know, did it up a bit, stuck a, um, a, a head spiked in the chariot there on the back. Um, supposed to be tusk oars, but obviously they, they're boars. I could put a few horns on them, I suppose. Um, yeah, you got a gore driving the chariot. And here's one of my favourite models. A lot of people don't like this model at all. Um, but as you'll see in the next picture, it reminds me of a cartoon character called Snaggletooth. Um, anyone who's over the age of 30 who comes from the UK might know who I'm on about when I say Snaggletooth. But um, yeah, here's my Razor Gore. Um, kind of wish I got this in fine cast, but I didn't. I got it in metal, and uh, it's really, really kind of heavy. It's a, it's a fat lump of metal, that model, I'm telling you. And, um, you know, you go through a stage when you're painting it, you think, Jesus, this looks like a god-awful mess. But, you know, keep working on the highlights, and um, it comes out eventually. And here is the infamous Gorus Warhoof with his club man smasher and his rather nice hat um, taken off a nasty unicorn that um, he didn't like. And, um, yeah, he's a pretty cool um, Centigore character. His only problem is he's only got two wounds and he's got initiative three. So he's probably going to get killed in the first round of hand-to-hand, -hand, but, um, yeah, never mind. Um, there's my Centigores, yeah. A lot of money for a, a not that strong a unit. I mean, flipping thirty-six pounds, really. Anyway, here's my uh, here's my Bestigore standard bearer. Yep, I've I've used the Games Workshop design um, on that one. A few highlights. Um, not finished this unit yet, so I'm just showing you the ones I've uh, I've painted or nearly finished. And there you go. There's the uh, there's the regiment. Um, I bought a pack of ten of these, and I bought another seven off eBay, and I thought, oh, I don't want to buy any more, man. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's a ski cyborg or ski ball minotaur, and there's two. Haven't quite finished painting these, but as you can see, they're a, they're a different style from the Games Workshop ones, and uh, I'm not really quite sure what to do with them yet. Um, and here's my um, Beastman Giant. Also use him in my Ogre Army. Put a bit of a uh, few extra bits and bobs on him. Um, you might recognise him from my ogre, um, <clears throat> and my ogre army um, that I've got on YouTube. Just added a few bits to that one, and and here's an overall picture of my um, army so far. There you go. Feel free to pause at any moment if you uh, want to do that. I'm recording all this on my iPhone, which is pretty cool, but it's got that annoying effect that keeps zooming in or out, and uh, it takes quite a long time to. You know, I can't just deactivate that one. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, there you go. There's my army so far. Hope you enjoyed it. So take care. Leave a message. Bye.